Do you know what separates successful people from the not-so-successful people? It's simple. Successful people frequently prioritize their most important task and ignore everything else. They know that this one thing is critical to their success, so they focus on it early in the morning while at their peak energy state. So if you want to increase your success at a job or side hustle, then the best thing you can do is to make your one thing an important part of your morning routine. In this video, I will provide a four-step process you can use to identify your one thing and make it an important part of your morning routine. Now be sure to watch this whole video to the end, because I will provide a free tool to take action on what you're about to learn. And finally, if you enjoy the content of this video, then please help us out by taking a few seconds to hit the like button. Let's get to it. Number 1. Identify your one thing. As we discussed in the video on the 12 morning habits of the world's most successful people, the best career habit you can build is to start your workday by working your one thing. So you might wonder, what is this one thing concept? Well, this is a phrase that was popularized in a book called The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papasan. Specifically, the authors recommend that you frequently ask yourself an important clarifying question. What's the one thing you can do such that by doing it, everything else will be easier or unnecessary? The point behind this question is to look closely at your number one goal to identify the most important habit. By focusing on your one thing, you can eliminate much of what's trivial in your life, get clear focus on what you're supposed to do, and double down on what's already working. When applied, this concept will help you work smarter, not harder. And once you've identified your one thing, your job is to carve out time to work on it daily. Specifically, the best time to work on your one thing is at the end of your morning routine. For example, if you're a writer, then you write early in the morning. Or if you're a salesperson, you focus on making those sales calls. Or if you're a humble YouTube content creator, then focus on writing scripts and creating videos. So to get started, you should ask yourself, what is the one habit that will increase my success with a career or side hustle? As an example, let's talk about Steve, the owner of this YouTube channel, who has built multiple six-figure yearly businesses. His one thing constantly changes depending on his current goals. When he was building his self-publishing business, his one thing was to write for 30 to 60 minutes in the morning. When he was building his authority website business, his one thing was to identify good article topics and delegate them to his staff writers. And now that he's focusing on YouTube, his one thing is to write scripts for videos like the one you're currently watching. Now the trick here is to identify the one task that is more important than the others. If you get stuck, then you can ask yourself a series of 80-20 questions, which is a concept that we covered in a recent video. Number two, schedule your one thing. The simplest way to succeed with your one thing is to turn it into a habit that you repeat daily. So that's why I recommend adding it to the end of your morning routine or as the first task when starting your workday. And you can do this by implementing the time blocking strategy. Time blocking is a technique where you schedule a specific task and completely focus on it, an exclusion to everything else. So how do you time block? It's simple. Get out a calendar and schedule a specific time to work on this activity every day. It's like you're scheduling an appointment, but you're scheduling an appointment with yourself. During this time each day, your job is to focus 100% on your one thing. Now you might wonder, how much time should I spend on my one thing? Well, the amount of time that you dedicate to this activity is up to you. But as we discussed in our video on three good habit hacks, the best way to build a habit that sticks is to make it easy to get started. So you should create a time block for your one thing that can be completed even on your worst day. It could be 10 minutes or 20 or 30 or even an hour. The key is to set a goal that you know can be completed regardless of how much you have going on during your busiest of days. Number three, remove all distractions. It's hard to focus on your one thing if you're interrupted every few minutes by a ping, push notification, or text alert. Sure, these social activities are pleasurable. They give your brain a little hit of dopamine, but they can also be addictive. A quick five minutes on Facebook can easily turn into an hour, 
which will destroy your chances of working on your one thing. That's why you should proactively remove these distractions during your focused blocks of time. Here are a few ways to do this. Put your mobile phone on airplane mode. Turn off your wireless router if you're working on a task that doesn't require the internet. Play music or white noise that you feel helps you stay focused. Wear a pair of headphones if you work in an office. Tell coworkers and family members that you shouldn't be disturbed during this time unless it's an emergency. Use a website blocking app to prevent you from browsing specific sites that are your weakness. And set a timer to work on your one thing without taking a break. You can use the Pomodoro technique, which is a strategy that we covered in a recent video. We live in a world where distractions are all around us, so you shouldn't feel bad if you occasionally indulge in them. That said, you should also recognize that you're not perfect and proactively prevent these distractions to focus on your one thing. And if you want to learn more, then check out our video on seven ways to prevent distractions in your life. Number four, say no as much as possible. Remember, since you already know that your one thing is a priority, treat everything else as a distraction that takes you away from completing this all important task. So that's why it's important to say no when it comes to any task, project, or obligation that gets in the way of completing your one thing. Your goal is to remove all the distractions and focus on completing the one task that you know is critical to your long-term success. Sure, there will be times when you have to do stuff that's important to your personal or professional life, but if you find that you frequently don't have time for your one thing, then you need to ruthlessly cut out anything that's not working from your life. This can include skipping meetings that aren't directly related to your priority work task, eliminating the tasks that don't directly align with your priorities, or breaking bad habits that waste your time. As you probably know, time is your most precious asset. That's why you should be very careful about what gets your attention. If a task or obligation is getting in the way of you working on your one thing, then you need to do everything you can to say no to it. To learn how to do this, check out our video on the five ways to say no to the unimportant things in life. Now, as promised in the introduction of this video, we have a free tool you can use to focus on your one thing. To get started, we recommend turning your one thing into a SMART goal that you focus on for the next three to six months. You can take that next step by downloading our free printable that walks you through the SMART goal setting process. If you're interested in this PDF, then check out the link in the description box and print out this worksheet. And if you wanna see more great content like this, then be sure to check out our video on the 12 morning routine habits of the world's most successful people.